Good morning. I literally just woke up. Well, I kind of just woke up. I don't know, it's like 11 now. I woke up like 10.30ish and went on my phone for a little bit. Got a package. What could it be? I paid $3 for this to be delivered same day, so. Books. Oh god, I'm kind of nervous. Looks a little thick. Today, I'm going to be attempting to read some of Book Talks. Why does that sound dumb? Book Talks most popular books. Some of Book Talks most popular books in 24 hours. Just a little preface. It probably won't be 24 hours straight because I probably will sleep a little bit tonight. So it will be a little split. But in the video, it won't be split. It will just be me, you know, reading. I got this book, The Song of Achilles, which is like a really popular book right now. And I heard it's really good. And then I got It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I've actually read like two of her books and they were both really good. I read Verity, which is like one of my favorite books. So I'm excited for this because I like her. Her, reading, her writing. I also got Beach Read at Target the other day. That one will be like an added one because I don't know if I can read. I don't know how much I can read in 24 hours. Like I have no idea. I don't fucking know. Like am I going to even be able to read one book in 24 hours? I would think, right? If I can read two, great. If I can read three, even better. I was thinking of reading The Song of Achilles first and then if it's like too much for me at certain points, at certain times, I could switch off with like the other books. I also, 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 also give reviews of all these books at the end. I actually really love reading a lot. The last like two months, I fell off. I hit a reading slump and it's really sad and I just want to read. So it's 11.21 and I'm going to start reading now as I eat breakfast. I am going to do a stopwatch so it like will show that I do 24 hours. Will it go that long? I'm assuming, right? Chapter one. Okay, it's been, how long has it been? It's only been 21 minutes and I'm, I'm getting like, uh, I don't know. Like it's good. I'm only on page 10. Literally on page 10, but I needed to stop for a second to tell you this. There's just so much detail that's so unnecessary that I'm not going to remember whatsoever. And that probably has no, like, use for the story. I don't know. Maybe this character is, like, important. But, like, it's been, like, five other smaller characters. Like, five other people that they described very, like, lengthily. And then they're not, like, that's it of the character. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. It's just very descriptive of things that don't need to be described to me. But let's keep going. We'll see how it gets. I moved to my bed because my butt was hurting. It's been an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. And I'm only on page 38. So like, is this gonna take me a long time? I mean, it's getting better. <sighs> Not even close, like, I'm going a little bit crazy. One chapter nine, page 82. It's good, like it's getting good. The beginning of the book was not good, honestly. At least it got good quickly. I just kinda like don't wanna be laying here. I wanna cry. I'm thinking about going to get lunch. I need to get out the house. Okay, so I just showered and got dressed. I have Audible. And the only reason I have it is because I, I keep getting credits and I keep not knowing what to get with the credits. If you cancel it, your credits like go away. So anyways, I think I'm gonna get this book on an Audible, so. I can continue reading it while I'm like driving and also doing other things. I don't know if this is cheating, but I don't think it is because it's technically reading. Hurry up! I'm trying to fucking put my socks on. Mm. I just need to like give my eyes a break and I need to drive. I need to go grocery shopping. I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and bring headphones so I can listen to it while I'm in Trader Joe's so I'm not stopping reading ever. I can't get my sock on. Download Ho. Does anyone crack their spines? Because I, I do. It doesn't really bother me. I haven't yet on this book though. I'm really tempted to. Y'all, it just got to a juicy part. I'm on chapter 10. got done at the grocery store. Didn't end up going to Trader Joe's. I didn't want to drive that far because it's like far and it was like when people start getting off work so I didn't want to drive in that. Anyways, on to the Porsche, the, the book. The, on to the reason I'm making this video and the reason you're probably watching this video. Books. I am feeling very tired and I'm feeling very out of it. Like I don't feel like I'm fucking in the 
world now. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a different reality than what's going on. Also, I'm sorry, but I'm just really fucking bored with this book. I just don't know if I really, if I really care. I'm not even... I'm not even halfway done. Oh, let me let me say quickly, this might include spoilers for the books. I'm not sure yet, but I'm just gonna say that I probably will. I cannot comprehend. I don't even know what the f their names are. I don't know how to pronounce these names and they're not, they're not registering in my brain. I love the two main characters and their relationship. It's very cute and I am appreciating it so far, but every single other thing that's happening in this book, I don't care about. I'm just trying to be honest and I'm really sorry if you love this book because I know a lot of people love this book. Literally every single thing that happens in this book other than their relationship, I don't care about. Maybe I'm just not into like this amount of freak mythology. I don't think it's for me. I think I'm gonna switch to one of these books at this point because I'm fucking losing my mind because I need a little bit of lightheartedness to uh, offset the serious warness of that book. I'm back in bed and I switched to this book. I fell asleep. Correction. I was gonna let myself take a 15 minute nap and it turned into an hour and 20 minute nap. It's 7.23. I paused the time before I took my 15 minute nap. Six hours and 30 minutes in. This is a lot harder than I thought. About to start. Chapter three of Bee Tree. I'm liking it so far. Uh, a lot more than the other ones, sorry. It's the truth. I just spilled something on my book. That's exciting. Banana bread Yo, cookie. Oh. It's so good. Y'all, this book is so cute. What is happening? Oh my gosh. This man is in love with this girl and I can just tell. I'm on page 131. Like, it's cute. It's also 11.30 right now. And I don't feel like, I'm, I'm very much into this book. Like, I, I don't feel like I'm gonna be putting it down anytime soon. The little comments that he makes to her, stop it right now, immediately. I figured out recently, recently, why can I not fucking talk? I think I've been reading too much. I found out recently that one of my favorite tropes is like the boy falls in love first type of thing but he won't really say it i also really like her writing style so i will update you guys when more juicy stuff happens and yes i did dog ear my pages i love this book already wow spoiler but he remembered her like dedication to her parents in one of her books that is so cute i can't find the position that i'm sitting that i can sit in comfortably anymore Spoiler alert. They just held hands under the table. <laughs> Romance books literally make me want to cry. We love, we love a slow a burn. burn. That's what I forgot. Holy shit. 10 hours and 30 minutes. And I haven't even finished a book yet. I'm not even halfway done. This is so good though. <laughs> I needed something that was gonna make me feel something because I haven't felt anything in a long time. And this is really making me feel something. Good thing I had like other books that were completely different genres because it was a lot to start with. It was a lot. Stop. Stop. Chapter 13. After that happens is just one line and it says, I dreamed about Gus Everett and woke up needing a shower. I wish I could read faster. I wish I could read faster for sure. There's lettuce on the counter, okay. It's from Chipotle that we ate that I couldn't clean up because I'm reading. Anyways, it's 2 a.m. and I'm getting really tired. I think I'm just more so like tired of looking at words. Also, am I losing my voice? This book is really good. I see the hype around this book. I uh, just passed another juicy part. Moving on to chapter 19. Honestly, the past four hours have flown by. 12 hours. Holy shit, dude. I literally just hit the halfway point. 12 hours and 45 minutes, 44 minutes. Did you see that 444? It's crazy to think if I started with this book, I would be done with it already. Gosh. I cannot imagine staying up for 12, well, for 11 more hours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep, I think.
Good morning. I'm gonna just put my hair in the butter. Let's try that again. Good morning. I just woke up. It's 10 o'clock and I'm gonna start reading. I'm really excited to get back into this book, but I think I'm gonna listen to the audiobook while I'm cooking. So yeah, I'm gonna make tea and food. I was listening to Song of Achilles. It's actually like, it's getting better. I think that it was just too much at once. So I'm starting to like it a little bit more. I'm just gonna like do it in increments. And now I'm gonna go back to reading this. Y'all, I'm literally tearing up. Ew, I look, okay, this video is just me being ugly for 20 minutes. I'm literally about to cry right now. He's literally admitting that he's been in love with her since college. I wasn't emotionally prepared for that. Stop, this is literally so fucking cute. He said, I'd come late to class so I could choose my seat based on where you sat and I'd rush out afterwards so I could walk with you. Ask to borrow pens every day for a week. Bro, stop, like I'm literally, <laughs> what is happening? No, because no, I'm almost done. I don't know what to do with myself right now. What is happening? He's admitting his love for her and I, I can't comprehend. I just finished this book. This book was really good. I finished it and then I took a shower because I needed to like process my thoughts and also I felt really gross. I'm laying in bed for long periods of time. I loved the characters. The characters were so well written. They were just so cute together. The ending was like, okay, the last chapter was a little bit weird. Like I kind of don't know how I felt about it, but I feel like it was that way for a reason. And then like the actual ending, like the last couple lines was really cute and I feel like it was like a nice little like lesson. I don't know what else to say besides a lesson. Moral of the story. But it was very good. I really liked it. I would give it like, for getting technical, I'm gonna say 4.8 out of 5. Because I feel like there were like a few things missing a little bit. It's hard for me to rate books right after I finish reading them. Because I need like time to process what just happened. I think that's my review. I really liked it. Definitely recommend if you like spicy romance books. It wasn't super spicy, but there was definitely some spice. I think I'm gonna try to do like more productive things. Because I've just been sitting and reading for a very long time. So. I'm gonna continue reading this book. I'm like halfway through kind of. I want to like go on a long walk because I need to get the out of this house. I'm at five hours and 30 minutes of reading. So I essentially have six hours left. I was at 13 hours. Well, 12 hours and 53 minutes. So 13 hours, five and a half more, and I'll be done. It says I have three hours and nine minutes left because I'm going at 1.5 speed. This person's speaking a little slow, no offense. So I will probably be starting this book today also. <laughs> I just finished Song of Achilles and I went on TikTok to like look at TikToks about this book. I kind of don't know if I understand the hype. There were things that I liked about it, but also there were things that I really didn't like about it. I guess this type of stuff is like subjective. But like, oh my god. Like this book just made me mad. It just made me mad. And I know like, like I get it, I get it. But you know in like TV shows and movies when there's characters that just do like the dumbest things. Like they just choose like the worst possible options. Yeah, that's basically what happened in this book. A lot, like why? Just why? That's like, don't do that. And there were so many hints that like this was gonna happen. Like it was so, I'm sorry if this is like your favorite book and you love this book. It just wasn't for me. The writing was great. There's a lot of characters that I don't know how to pronounce their names and I don't really, there's a lot of fucking, characters in general in this book. And I think that there's probably just a lot of things that make it not a book for me. I wouldn't really recommend this unless you're like really into Greek mythology and war. I feel like I could rant about this for so long. I kind of want to give it like a 2.5 out of 5, but I think I'm going to give it a 3 because the two main characters I liked. I don't know, I'm going to give it a, a 3 out of 5 and that's like being generous a little bit. I'm going to continue reading. I'm going to start this book. Maybe I need to like ponder on this book more. After pondering, I actually like this book less and i feel like the only reason i gave it a three was because a lot of people like it i'm thinking maybe like a two 2.5 this book was so long but i also feel like there was like no character development like you kind of you grow with them through all these years but there's also like zero character development like they're the same as they were when they were like 13. what was that book literally made me physically mad like i want to fight someone i'm almost at nine hours so i have two hours left that's not bad 
I have about 26, 26 minutes left of reading and I want to stop. 10 hours, 14 minutes. We already have 13 hours on the clock. As you can see here that I took a screenshot of the exact time I stopped last night. I feel like as soon as the 20 minutes is up, it's going to get to a good part in this book and I want to keep reading. But I'm on page 50. Nothing's really happening of interest yet, so we'll see. It's kind of, I'm kind of getting used to it though. Like I'm kind of used to the pain of non-stop reading. No, it's, it's not pain anymore. Now it's become just a part of me, part of life. Did I lose my spot? Guys, I did it. I really wish that the first cool 13 hours would have saved so I could like show you the full 24 hour, but it didn't save. Alas, um, 11 hours and 13 minutes plus 12 hours and 53 minutes. It's a long time. Wow, it's only 9.32 p.m. I actually kind of think that this got me out of my reading slump. Oh, this book is good. I will update you guys though on my review of this. It's been almost a week and I finished this book and this was definitely my favorite out of the three books that I read. I kind of wish I read this in the video to like show you guys my reaction to a lot of parts in here because like oh my gosh there's a lot of like sensitive subjects in here so like look up trigger warnings before you read it but oh my gosh this book is so good i can't like i can't, I still cannot stop thinking about it like all i think about is this book this is a five out of five for me this is probably one of my top favorite books i've ever read beautiful amazing i think the reason that i rated beach read like a little bit less than a five now that i think about it was because it just wasn't like it was very good it was very good but it wasn't super like memorable for me I'm not sitting here like thinking about these characters over and over again after i read like it ended with that book you know what i mean i don't know but this book i feel like will never leave me in my brain the characters the story obsessed with it the ending is so good it's so good and there's so many times in this freaking book where i was so angry or just like so upset and there's a lot of like sadness in this book it made me feel a lot it was so good the characters atlas i love atlas i love him he's my favorite lily is amazing please read this book and don't get your expectations too high because like oh i don't know maybe i don't know you know but read just read it because i what i thought this book was gonna be is not what happened highly recommend my favorite book from this video from probably my favorite standalone maybe i want to cry and i want to read it again before this i think this is a good experience it was nice to read again that was a fun time do i recommend this i don't know it wasn't bad but it was just weird but now i kind of like want to try it again like probably not 24 hours but like doing like a like 12 hour one like just reading all day straight would be pretty nice okay well i feel crazy i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs> Thank you.